Hey everybody, Stephen Mike here that welcome to the Anchor Star Wealth afternoon update. That's becoming a trend lately, but we're going to get better and get it back to the morning. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the road. I'm in the Alley Mobile in Alabama. Uh, Irene, and just, uh, Irene and I just landed for parents weekend. We get to hang out with our oldest. So we're super fired up about that. That's why I'm in the mobile we're actually going over railroad tracks right now, so I'm bouncing all over the place. Um, but we got a good show for you today. We're going to talk about three things. I'm going to lead it off. I'm going to talk about the Reddit IPO uh, that happened this week. If you followed along at all, we haven't had a lot of IPOs lately. And, you know, Reddit social media, so, you know, it's going to it's going to either boom or bust. So I'll talk about exactly how that, that went down and how to play it if you're interested. Uh, Mike's going to talk about a fairly significant lawsuit that was released yesterday. Uh, the DOJ is coming after Apple. I call it the green bubble attack, uh, right? Because if anybody's got a Samsung friend, uh, you know, they get highlighted in your in your tech threads for having the green bubble. Uh, but it's a little more than just an attack on the green bubble. Uh, but Michael talk about that and how it affects the stock. And then lastly, what you've all been waiting for is the more of the stock market March madness to where you get to win a little trophy as well as go on to the Anchor Star Wealth Hall of Fame uh, for being the best stock picker. And we're going to do, we're going to give you this advantage today. We're going to tell you our picks. And so you can beat the experts, right? So you, and Mike will go more into the rules. Just remember, put that, uh, contact us somehow with the, uh, the four, uh, with your four picks out there. All right, I'll start us off talking about Reddit. I'm not a Reddit user. I end up, if I Google something, sometimes I end up on Reddit uh, and get pretty decent reviews. But when I think of Reddit, I think of, you know, Roaring Kitty and these folks that ran up the AMC price. And, you know, it's like the, the masses taking over the world, uh, you know, what, one, one regular person at a time kind of thing. So uh, we sat down with the investment committee and talked about, do we want to participate in this or not? Uh, we decided against it. There's just too much risk for the potential upside. Uh, so we're sticking with, you know, Meta and more of the mainstream uh, type names there. As far as the IPO, it was announced. So if you're going to play an IPO, you do need to know how they work a little bit. They announced the IPO price was at 34. But if you don't have an in of investment bank and you don't have those shares, you don't get them at 34. You get them when it opens. So if you put a market open, market order in for Reddit that first day to look over to the left of this screen right here, you can see you would have gotten the price of 53.60. And if you notice, everything else on this screen for the past two days is below that. Uh, so here's your market orders at the beginning. They went in right here, uh, topped out at what is that, 54.66. Uh, so if you put, don't put a market order in at an IPO at the beginning. That's that FOMO. That's the I have to have this, right? Don't do that because it sold off after that. It's settling down. So when you see it was up 50% yesterday, it, that doesn't mean if you bought it, you would be up 50%. It's all the IPO folks. So the IPO folks got it at 34. It goes to 50, um, touches 50 anyway. So there's your 50%. And now it's sold off 10% today. I think that's going to continue to sell off. Am I attracted to the name? Not particularly. But uh, just remember, I want to show it to you because these IPOs can get a lot of hype. And you don't necessarily make money even if, you know, even if you hop in at the beginning. So even Facebook opened at 34 and went down to 18. You know, this is over 10 years ago. Uh, so you tend to always get a better opportunity later. So um, that's all I have on Reddit. Let's switch over to Mike and Mike can talk to us about the DOJ and Apple. What's going on? Yeah, uh, exciting news, you know, coming out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what a newspaper looks like for a lot of people that don't see newspapers anymore. <laughs> I, I'm like one of three subscribers of the Wall Street Journal, the last paper. But the header, the head, the headline on the front page today, the U.S. accuses Apple of an iPhone monopoly. Huh. I got to think about that. Uh, who else sells <laughs> iPhones? Uh, does Motorola, does Google, does um, BlackBerry? No. I mean, Apple does have an iPhone monopoly, so so that that headline is absolutely true. But I, I guess what it really gets into is they're saying the iPhone, and and as I read into the articles and read into it, they're they're getting around cloud gaming because that's something that Apple cannot totally get the price of. And what Apple does when they maintain their their environment is they provide all the tools for programming, they put, provide the, the store that sells them, and then they take a 30% cut. So whatever you develop from Apple, you know, Apple gets their 30% cut. So this is what 
the the DOJ is getting into is Apple kind of has that monopoly all set up. And and whether that's true or not, I mean, we're going to get into it. Um, I, iPhone has a, over a 60% United States market share, not worldwide, but clearly... Oh, wow. Clearly, they they have the majority of the smartphones, and and of course, everybody wants a smartphone. I, you know, could count on my hands um, how many times I've had a kid come in and say, "Give me a Google phone or a uh, uh, the Pixel or the Motorola Razor." Come on, who who wants the old Razor? Zero times. No one has ever requested. All they want is iPhones. So um, this what'll happen is, you know, this will take years and unfortunately yesterday you know after apple had been rebounding some in market price uh, they took a four percent hit and then today i think they've come back a little bit but um you know this is going to be going on for a long long time so i thought i'd at least bring up a couple other times that we've seen a lawsuit on monopolies and, and two different results so you may remember for you, those of you that are football fans about 30 years ago they, they accused the NFL of having a monopoly on football. If anybody remembers this, and, and even a current presidential candidate, I can say it, it's Donald Trump, owned a USFL team, New Jersey Generals. And that, that USFL sued the NFL, and the NFL was said, yes, they do have a monopoly, and they were awarded $1.00 in, in uh, damages, and that was effectively the end of the USFL. So, you know, that's one example of a monopoly that, that how that worked out. But I'll give you another one that's, that's maybe more recent, and I'm gonna share my screen uh, just to give you, and there's your, there's your uh, USFL logos, I thought I'd share that, but. <laughs> so some of you may remember in the 90s, there was a browser called Netscape. And then eventually yeah. Inter Internet Explorer took that over and, and Netscape went out or barely was in business. But since 2010, if you look at 2010, that high light blue line, that was the market share for Internet Explorer. And if you remember, Microsoft was forced to decouple Internet Explorer from computers. Like it used to be when you opened the computer, you just got Internet Explorer. That gave them a huge market share. And you can see what's happened since then, all the way into you know the green line that took over, and I think is what I run. Yes, Chrome. You know, Chrome took over, and Internet Explorer is is dead. It's gone. I don't. I don't. I know they show up 0.8 percent, but I don't know anybody that is Internet Explorer. But the thing is, you have to look at. So Microsoft, they were accused of this with Internet Explorer, and that piece went away. Basically, now what did it go away because the DOJ forced it, or did it go away because Chrome was a better, uh, more uh, fought better against cyber crimes, things like that? Well, you could argue one way or the other. But here's the thing did uh, Word Perfect or Quattro Pro come back? No, Microsoft still dominates Microsoft Office. Everyone has Word and Excel, and, and there's some other ones out there, but, but Microsoft still dominates in their current pro products. So what will happen with Apple? You know, are, are they going to force, you know, uh, giving away free competitor phones? Are they going to force Apple to open up and give people the other green or blue bubbles and all this stuff? You know, we don't know. It's going to take years to sort out. Um, for now, we're not worried, but we will certainly continue to monitor this. Is this a distraction for Apple? Yeah, I would say if the DOJ is banging on your door, um, you know, uh, it, it is a distraction. I did read that it's very unlikely for this to be discharged prior to the presidential election. Could you imagine if we elect our president based on whether okay. this, this gets dismissed or not? Let's hope it doesn't go there. Anyways, that's <laughs> enough on Apple. Um, I'm sure we'll have more updates in the future. But on to the more fun stuff. So let's go over to our stock March Madness brackets. Now, what we're going to do is Steve and I are going to tell you our four picks, and then I'm just going to real quick hit Monday's games um, for you. So, Steve, I'll let you – you can go through your four picks first. Who are they? Yeah, you Yeah, you bet. Uh, obviously, these are the winners, so you all can uh, just check out and quit after this. But, uh, you know, it's interesting the setup we have, right? So it's – you win it by day, which, you know, stock market moves by day or, uh, you know, almost a fool's game, right? But I will tell you with confidence – uh, you know, Eli Lilly, I like in the Bill Gates division here. 
is is probably my favorite. I think Eli the Billy Lily is you know dipped a bit from the big run up that it's had. So that's my favorite. I also like Apple uh, out there. Obviously beat up because of the lawsuit. I think that's going to bounce back a little more so than the rest. Intel is my third choice for my final four. Uh, Intel, you're like what? Intel, old tech, yawn. Uh, yeah, Intel. They just got like a kabillion dollar contract. The stock didn't care. I think people are going to wake up to that, that, you know, a billion is still a lot of money. So they're coming back. And then the last one is a main name you may not know, and that's Alibaba. That's the, you know, the the, the, the Chinese Amazon. So uh, Chinese tech stocks have been back lately. I think it's going to continue to uh, be on fire and rip through its bracket. And if I had to pick an overall winner, it would be Baba. Nice. Well, Steve, I picked mine a little bit differently. What What I did is I said, what products do I use? And that's how I picked them. So in my Bill Gates division, since I bought a rotisserie chicken yesterday from Costco, I'm expecting that my purchase will surge the Costco shares up. Costco's a seven seed. So if they win and Eli Lilly wins, they'll be facing each other in the next round. Um, another product that I use or have used is Intuit Quicken. So I went with Intuit. Uh, over in the must division, you know, a while back, my mortgage got sold to Wells Fargo. Now, I didn't pick Wells Fargo. I guess they picked me. So, but I went ahead and picked Wells Fargo for this competition. And then one product that I definitely use that a lot of us use is JP Morgan Chase. So those are my final four. And I am going to go with the long shot. I'm going to pick Wells Fargo to come out of all this and win uh, this Wells overall Fargo. company. Wells Fargo. Yes. So, um, yeah, on Wells the, Fargo, the Kentucky of the tournament. Okay. Oh, oh Kentucky. <laughs> yes. All the people from Kentucky, this is time to get your brackets in. Cause you can throw away your other brackets now. Cause they are <laughs> over. Um, but what I want to do is the way this works is on Monday, the bill Gates division, these games that are on the screen will be played. And what it is, is we're going to look at Monday's stock percentage increase from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. So at four o'clock, when I click on CNBC and put in each one of these, whichever one's increased the most percentage, they will advance. So first matchup, number one seed, Microsoft going against number 16, Uber. Steve's got his own personal Uber right now. So we'll see how that goes. Number Number eight, we got Netflix versus Coca-Cola. I know my son picked Coca-Cola in his final four. Uh, number uh, next one is number five, United Health against Abbott. It's kind of a medical batch up there. Next, Mastercard versus T-Mobile, and I was surprised that T-Mobile actually made the the top sixty four, yeah. considering I see Verizon, but I don't see AT and T. So who who would have known that T-Mobile is actually more valuable company than AT and T? I did not know that. Um, then we get into the, the motor, the motor group. We got Toyota motor versus shell. So we got some, we got some old school oil vehicles going on here. Then we got Taiwan semiconductor against Caterpillar. And then we got Costco, which is my pick going against SAP. And then we got Eli Lilly, which is Steve's pick going against old school IBM. So Stay tuned for that um, Monday show. We'll probably do a preview of the Tuesday matchups, but then, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So as far as the rules, all you need to do is get your picks in, either reply back to the LinkedIn post or the face Facebook post, or you could email me or Steve, just get those picks in by Sunday night. And then whoever advances, we'll, we'll give some updates as it goes forward. So that's all I have today. And I guess we will have a great weekend, everybody. All right. Well, that sounds good. Remember, uh, you know, I give a little earlier. In case of presentation, you have to do your own due diligence before acting upon any of these names you hear out of our mouths today. And more and more disclaimer information is available at anchorstarwealth.com. I'll close with Go Cyclones. Good win last night. Bama today. I'm at Bama, right? So let's go. Roll Tide. Got a roll tide coming out of uh, alley over there. So with that, you guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon.